Welcome to this service. At entrance, you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the deaths peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, amen, amen. I will praise the Lord, who is my God through life, in the dark nights. You help me to learn what is right. I will always trust the Lord to be with me. He is close beside me, so I will not be upset. I am truly happy and I thank God. I know that my love is safe with God. Amen. You, Lord, will not leave me in the deep hole of death. As one who belongs to you, you will not leave my body to spoil in the grave. You will lead me along the path of life because you are with me. I am very happy. I know that I will be with you forever and that makes me very happy. Hallelujah. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your son jesus christ who died for us forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light amen gloria gloria in excelsis deu gloria gloria in excelsis deu glory to god in the highest and peace to his people on earth Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. A prayer for help. Lord, please listen to me. I am asking you to do something that is right. I am speaking what is true, so please do what I ask you to do. I want you to show clearly that I am not guilty. You can see for yourself that I am right. You can look deep into my mind. You can check my thoughts at night. When you test me, you will find nothing that is wrong. I have decided that I will never tell any lies. I have watched people do bad things, but I have obeyed your commands. I have not joined 
bit cruel people to do what they do. No, I carefully follow your ways. I do not turn away from them. I pray to you, God, because you will answer me. Please listen to me when I pray to you. The Bible, Matthew 10, part 1 and 5 to 15. Jesus sends out the twelve apostles. Jesus called his twelve followers together. He gave them power over evil spirits and power to heal every kind of disease and sickness. Jesus sent the twelve men out with, the, uh, with these instructions. Don't go to the non-Jewish people and don't go into any town <clears throat> where the Samaritans live, but go to the people of Israel. They are like sheep that are lost. When you go, tell them this. God's kingdom is now very near. Heal the sick. Bring the dead back to life. Heal the people who have leprosy and force demons out of people. I give you this power freely, so help others freely. Don't carry any money with you, gold or silver or copper. Don't carry a bag. Take only the clothes and sandals you are wearing. And don't take a walking stick. A worker should be given what he needs. When you enter a city or town, Find some worthy people, person there and stay in his home until you leave. When you enter the home, say, Peace be with you. If the people in that home welcome you, you are worthy of your peace. May they have the peace you wished for them. But if they don't welcome you, you are not worthy of your peace. Take back the peace you wished for them. And if the people in a home or a town refuse to welcome you or listen to you, then leave that place and shake the dust of your feet. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Epistle, Romans 3, part 21 to 31. Christ took our punishment. But God has a way to make people right and it has nothing to do with the law. He has now shown us that new way which the law and the prophets told us about. God makes people right through their faith in Jesus Christ. He does this for all who believe in Christ. Everyone is the same. All have sinned and all not good enough to share God's divine greatness. They are made right with God by His grace. This is a free gift. They are made right with God by being made free from sin through Jesus Christ. God gave Jesus as a way to forgive people's sins through their faith in Him. God can forgive them because the blood sacrifice of Jesus pays for their sins. God gave Jesus to show that He always does what is right and fair. He was right in the past when He was patient and did not punish people for their sins. And in our own time, he still does what, what is right. God worked all this out 
in a way that allows him to judge people fairly and still make right any per person who has faith in Jesus. So do we have any reason to boast about ourselves? No reason at all. And why not? Because we are depending on the way of faith, not on what we have done in following the law. I mean, we are made right with God through faith, not through what we have done to follow the law. This is what we believe. God is not only the God of the Jews. He is also the God of those who are not Jews. There are there there is only one God. He will make Jews right with him by the faith. And he will also make non Jews right with him through their faith. So do we destroy the law by following the way of faith? Not at all. In fact, faith causes us to be what the law actually wants. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Gospel. John 7 part 25 to 36 people wonder if Jesus is the Messiah some of the people who lived in Jerusalem started to ask each other isn't this this the man they are trying to kill but his teaching where everyone can see and hear him and no one is trying to stop him from teaching. Maybe the leaders have decided that he really is Messiah. But when the real Messiah comes, no one will know where he comes uh, from, and we know, and we know where this man's home is. Jesus was uh, still teaching in the temple area when he said loudly don't you really know me and where I am from I am here but not by my own decision I was sent by one who is very real but you don't know him I know him because I am from him he is the one who sent me when Jesus said this, the people tried to grab him, but no one was able even to uh, touch him because he right because the right time for him had not yet come. But many of people believed in Jesus. They said, "We are waiting for the Messiah to come. When he comes." He will do more miraculous signs than this man has done. The Pharisees heard what the people were saying about Jesus. So the leading priest and the, and the Pharisees sent some temple police to arrest him. Jesus said, I will be with you a little while longer. Then I will go back to the one who sent me. You will look for me, but you will not find me. And you cannot come where I am. These Jews said to each other, Where will this man go that we cannot find him? Will he go to the Greek cities where our people live? Will he teach the Greek people there? He says, You will look for me, but you will not find me. He also says, You cannot come where I am. 
What does that mean? Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Do great things that show your faithful love. You have the power to keep people safe from their enemies. You help them when they trust you for help. Please keep me safe in the same way that you take care of your eyes. Keep me near to you in the way that birds protect their bab uh, babies under their wings. Keep me safe from the wicked men who attack you. You, me, my enemies are all around me and they want to kill me. They refuse to be kind to anyone. They speak proud words. Now they have found me. They are ready to attack. They look for their chance to knock me down to the ground. They are like hungry lions. They want to tear me in pieces. They are hiding like young lions. They are ready to jump out and catch me. Preaching Jesus, I want to be your, uh, by your side forever. It doesn't matter if you talk me away or ask me to travel the world. All that matter is that I am where you want me. Take me by the hand and lead me to your holy chambers or to the edge of adventure. You have given me the courage to trust you and I wouldn't have it any other way. I want to live from a higher realm of awareness where I expect to encounter your holy presence every day. Infiltrate my thoughts and give me a transfusion of faith so every imagination is illuminated by your truth. Anoint my eyes so I can see with your perspective. Touch my ears so I will hear the secrets you long to share. Please make a way when I think there is no hope because I will let you lead me. Understand how beautifully God has added one more day in your life. Not because you need it, but because someone else needs you. Amen. The creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, this, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Lord, please do something. Fight against them. Knock them down. Take your sword and save me from those wicked men. Lord, use your power to save me from them. They only think about this world and they enjoy the good things that it gives them. So give them all that you have ready for them. Give them more than they want. May their children also have plenty and enough left to give to their children too. As for me, Lord, I am not guilty of sin, so I will see your face when I awake. I will see you clearly and I will be really happy. Hallelujah. This song is for the music leader, the Lord servant David wrote it. David sang these words to the Lord when the Lord saved him from the power of his enemies at the time when Saul uh, was king. Thank you, Lord. I love you, Lord. You are the one who makes me strong. Hallelujah. Prayers of intercessions. We pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The Peace we are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always be with you. Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to set before you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here, His Spirit is with us, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right to give thanks and praise, Amen. 
It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through Him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving Him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions. Therefore, we angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we proclaim your great and glorious name for ever praising you and singing holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood who is in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me in the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me therefore heavenly father we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross we proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension we look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of a uh, cup we make the memorial of Christ your son our Lord amen Christ is risen Christ will come again amen accept through him our great high Lord this our sacrifice of thanks and praise and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty renew us by your spirit inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son jesus christ our lord through him and with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven we worship you father almighty in songs of everlasting praise blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever amen the lord's prayer 
our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and glory and are yours now and forever. Amen. If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Amen. Giving of communion. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean, our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son, that he may live in us and we in him, and that we, with the whole company of Christ, may sit and eat in your kingdom. Amen. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God, the Father. Amen. You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. The Lord keeps me safe. He is my great rock and my strong place. God is my light, high rock. I run to him to hide and be safe. He keeps me safe like a soldier's shield. He is the strong place where I can hide safely. I praise the Lord because he deserves it. When I call to him for help, he saved me from my enemies. Death was close enough to catch me. Danger was like a river that wanted to drown me. Death was drawing me up with ropes to pull me into the deep hole of the grave. In my trouble, I prayed to the Lord. I called to my God to help me. He heard my voice from his home in heaven. My prayer reached his ears. Then the, the earth moved and it shook. Even the strong mountains shook because God was angry. At exit, you should tell, 
I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, and my future of God's protection. Amen.